What's up guys, this is Jolin here and today in this video we're going to unbox and review the Huawei Honor Play smartphone. Huawei has launched the Play with nearly flagship specs at a very competitive price, that is 19,999 rupees in India. So can it be competitive enough in this booming smartphone market? Let's find out. The Honor Play comes in a white colored box. Opening up the box, we have the phone itself on top. We then have the transparent APU case, a quick start guide, some IMEI stickers, warranty card, and a SIM ejection tool. Digging further in, we have a USB Type-C cable and a Huawei's own quick charger with an output rating of 5V 2A or 9V 2A. Now to give you a physical overview of the phone, the Honor Play comes with a 6.3 inch a notched IPS display with full HD resolution, that is 1080 by 2340 pixels. The notch houses the 16 megapixel camera with f2.0 aperture, earpiece, and some sensors. There's a tiny chin below with Honor branding mentioned on the same. The back of the phone is metallic. There's a dual camera setup on the back, out of which one is a regular 16 megapixels having f2.0 aperture and the second one is a 2 megapixels having f2.4 aperture which is a depth sensor with LED flash. There's also a fingerprint sensor as well. On the left hand side there's a hybrid SIM card tray and on the right hand side there's a power button and volume buttons. On the top of the phone is kept clean with just noise cancellation microphone while the bottom houses a 3.5mm headphone jack USB Type-C port, microphone, and speakers. Talking about the display first, the Full HD display fitted in the Honor Play looks very crisp. Although it's an IPS display, the colors just pop out and looks to be very vibrant. I know it has a notch there, but for people who aren't a fan of it, there's an option to hide it as well. The sunlight readability was really good and I didn't face any issues using the phone in bright sunlight. The software experience on this device was very smooth. It comes with Huawei's own custom skin that is EM EMUI 8.2 on top of Android Oreo 8.1 out of the box. I didn't notice any UI lags while using the phone and the RAM management is also done really well. The form factor of the phone is kept really slick though even though this guy is powered with a 3750mAh battery and I could easily get through a day uh, with heavy to medium usage. If the battery drains out, we have the Huawei's quick charger to top it up really quickly. Securing the device with fingerprint and face unlock is also present here. The fingerprint scanner is really fast and unlocks the device very quickly whereas on the other hand, the face unlock also works fine to the most part, although it doesn't work in pitch darkness. I would suggest using a fingerprint scanner though, as it's more secure than the face unlock. Gaming experience was a breeze on this device, as it's powered with high silicon Kirin 970 chipset, which is an octa-core processor with Mali G72 MP12 GPU coupled with 4 gigs of RAM. There's also another model available with 6 gigs of RAM. First I tried playing some low graphic games like Subway Surface. Opening up the game was very quick and I didn't notice any lag or stutter while playing the game. The same goes with the Temple Run 2. I didn't notice any hiccups while playing this game, neither the phone heated up. So playing low graphic games wasn't a problem at all. Secondly, I switched to graphic intensive games like PUBG. I played it at the highest graphic settings. At the start I noticed some minor lags but then it was very smooth throughout the gameplay. I didn't notice any stutter anywhere in the game later. The phone screen became slightly warm though uh, but it wasn't a problem at all. I also tried Asphalt 9 on this, on this phone at the highest graphic settings and it to play very smoothly. Even during drifts and takedowns, I didn't notice any lag or stutter whatsoever. No unusual heating up of the phone was observed during the gameplay. So in terms of gaming, the Honor Play holds up really well in my opinion. 
Now that Huawei has introduced a GPU Turbo update to this device, I feel it will enhance the gaming experience even further. Coming to the cameras now. The Honor Play comes with a dual rear camera out of which one is a 16 megapixels and the other is a 2 megapixel unit for that sensing. I've clicked in some pictures with the rear camera and it turned out to be really good. Here are some pictures clicked in good lighting conditions. There's lot of details in the image clicked and the colors look really punchy. The pictures as we notice have good dynamic range. Since the cameras have AI integration on the phone, it enhances the image all the more. The portrait mode works really fine as well. There's a good amount of bokeh effect you can see and the age detection is on point. As for the selfies, the 16 megapixel camera does a really good job. The pictures look sharp and vibrant and good amount of details can also be observed. There is also a portrait mode for the front camera and it works really well with age detection on point. The low light is a place where the camera struggles a bit. The images are grainy and quite a bit of noise can be noticed. The images clicked also loses quite a bit of details as well. I wish Honor tries to improve the front camera with some software updates. The Honor Play can shoot videos up to 4K. The quality of the videos look, look great, uh, but there's no OIS, no EIS present. Image stabilization is present though at 1080p 30fps and it does a great job, but anything about that, you will get a shaky footage. Overall, it's an amazing device for the price. A flagship performance, good design, good cameras and a great battery life are as strong as assets. You tend to get an almost flagship device for a reasonable price. The only letdown I felt was a camera in low light. I really wish Honor fixes this with some software updates which will make this phone a complete package. If you're looking out to buy this device within the 20,000 rupees price range, then I would highly recommend the Honor Play. I will leave the best buy links in the description below. So that's it for now guys. I really hope you liked the video. Do hit the like button if you all did and smash that subscribe button if you all haven't subscribed yet. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon to turn on the no notifications. So until next time, you guys take care. Ciao.